Hey, hey, it's me, Madeline Fay P. Okay, so lately I've been getting asked how I upload my GIFs to Instagram. And yes, it's GIFs, not GIFs. Look it up. The dude that made them says GIFs. So I'm gonna say it properly because every time I say GIFs, someone argues with me. Okay, anyway. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Shout out to Marissa. Follow her at Marissa Duran. Okay, I like to make GIFs, especially with the Dallas Dart. Um, sorry, my dog is growling. Um, and people are wondering how I do it, and I make quite a few of these, and I upload them to Instagram. So let me start by saying Instagram doesn't actually take GIFs. Um, what I'm going to show you in Photoshop, you can make a GIF out of when you export the images, but you can also make... A movie clip which is what I upload to Instagram so just a little hack um, let me show you what I do first I upload all these photos in Lightroom and edit them I put my um, preset on there and edit them and I put them in a folder ready to put into Photoshop okay so let's go into Photoshop so I already have them ready because my computer gets really slow when I upload them but let me show you how to upload photos for making a GIF. You go to File, you go to Scripts, you load files into Stack, you browse for the photos, and then, oh my goodness, where are you? I hate when my computer does this. I don't like the way it looks when it's like this. Marissa. Here we are. So here's all the photos. So technically I would like select all of those, press OK, and they would upload into this panel. So the next step is to get them into a timeline. So you click Window Timeline, Create Frame Animation. Now you can do Create Video Timeline or Create Frame Animation. I always just have done Frame Animation. And you will get the first photo here, but you want all of them in here. And so you say, make frames from layers right here. Boom. Okay, next step, you click forever, 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 and then you select all of these photos, and I always go with 0.2 seconds. All right, so let me show you what happens now. Cool. It plays once, and it loops back again from the beginning. But what I want is for it to loop to the end and then go from the end to the beginning again like a full circle. So the next step is you select all of your clips and then you copy the frames and then you paste the frames after the selection and then you reverse the frames. <laughs> reverse, reverse! And then you have to delete two photos because they repeat the end and the beginning repeat. So I'm going to delete this one because this is the beginning of the next, see this is the beginning of the next round of photos. So these two are exactly the same. So I delete it and then I go to the end and I delete this one because this is exactly like the first photo and when it loops around it's going to repeat itself. And if you're really confused as to what I'm saying, I get it. Um, when you do this, just play it and you'll see it. You'll see what I mean. Okay, now press play. Watch this. It's staggering because it's slow. That's the only reason it's being glitchy like that. But it's working. Okay, so that will only play for a few seconds. And Instagram takes, I think, like 10 or 15 second videos. So what I typically do, because if this isn't a GIF, a GIF runs all the time. You don't have to press play, it doesn't have an end, it just loops forever. But because I'm exporting this as a video to upload to Instagram, I make it, um, it a start to end approximately 15 to 20 seconds. So I select all of my clips and I do it again. Copy frames, paste frames, paste after selection, reverse frames, and then I find where they meet in the middle here and these repeat each other. So I delete this one and I delete the last one. OK, 
Okay, so now let's watch this. It goes longer. Very nice. Okay, so that's the GIF. And if you want to save this as a GIF, I'll show you real quick. File, save for web. Let's go computer, you can do it. I sing to my computer sometimes, y'all. Like singing to a plant. Oh my gosh. All right, sorry guys. I think I need to clear some space off of my laptop. I'm also going to write this out so that you can follow it in writing too because that might be easier when you don't want to pull up a video and go back and forth. So screenshot this if you want, but this is how I set up my GIFs for like the way it looks. Um, you can see it's kind of, it's pretty smooth for a GIF. Um, make sure that this is always forever because sometimes it goes to once. Click that forever and then you can save right here. It's GIF. So it'll save as a GIF. But that's not what we're doing. Okay, we're going to go to export, render video, file, export, render video. And then I just title it um, like Marissa Dart GIF. Um, and then these are the settings that I keep on here. I have no clue what it all means, but I don't change it because it works on my Instagram. Then I click render. And then I have a video on my, I'm not going to actually do this because I already have one. Let me show you. It saves onto my computer. And then you're like, how do you put this on your Instagram? I text it to myself through iMessage. I just take this. And I text it, I drag and drop it, I text it to myself, and then I save it into my phone, and then um, I upload it to Instagram. Voila! The Dart GIF of Instagram. And I say Dart GIF because I make all the GIFs, like I do this thing in Dallas, anytime I see a Dart and I'm shooting with someone, I'm like, oh my gosh, go pose in front of the Dart, and I make Dart GIFs. So yeah. There you have it. Peace out, y'all.